hey guys i hope you're all doing well and staying safe and everything else um sorry i look a little bit rough in this video but i am so tired and so just yeah pregnant um so yeah i thought i would do a video today where i basically ran through some gift ideas for you um if you have a pregnant wife girlfriend sister whatever like if you're just struggling on things to get a pregnant person in your life i found this year was a little bit tough in terms of what i wanted and what i was going to ask for for christmas because in my family um there is like so many of us that we all get each other a present so i have to come up with quite a few present ideas and honestly i could barely think of any um but i've thought of some now and i thought it would be a really good video to film in case you're struggling for inspiration as well so i hope you enjoy the video please give it a big thumbs up if you do and comment and like and all of that jazz um but yeah let's crack on so a really cute and thoughtful gift i was given at my gender reveal was this little mum's um me time pamper box um i have used quite a lot of things in it so there's barely anything in it anymore but it basically included um a candle like a lavender candle which i've already used because i absolutely love the smell of lavender um before bed it's just really nice and i got some bath salts which i've used um but you also get this like head massager which is lovely you get this little card in it that says please not to, please do not disturb mum's mum time me time in progress which i think is really cute and then um in here is like a little nail kit and everything like that and then a sleep mask which i'll probably need eventually and then a little exfoliating um pad for the bath but yeah i thought that was a really thoughtful little gift and I was actually really happy when I got it because it's very unusual for you to get gifts for you at like baby showers and stuff like that. So I think that would be a really sweet little box of goodies for mom to be or new newly mum, newly mum, mummy, new mum. Wow, struggling. Um, so that pamper box, I think you can get all kinds of different ones on um not on the high street stuff like that um etsy i can't actually find out where that box is from because obviously it was a gift but yeah i thought i would just show you anyway so if you just google mum to be gift boxes loads of different things came up which i googled before i did this video and yeah they're all very similar and very lovely and yeah i definitely recommend and then i would also recommend this so this is going to be my hospital bag basically you can buy this bag on on its own for i think 25 pounds and it's got like a little compartment down here which is where you keep all the baby things in i'm just gonna like briefly show you this because i will be doing a video where i go into detail of what i'm taking to the hospital for the baby and everything and for me um but yeah it's a really sweet little bag and I've basically got everything I need. So we have another sleep mask in it, you see. Um, we've got some breast pads, eco pads. Um, we've got some nappy bags for the baby. We've got a little pamper kit for mum, which basically has all kinds of things in it actually. Um, it's got basically like moisturizers, different moisturizers, lip balm, stuff like that. Then we've got our little muzzy for the baby. This is actually so cute, I forgot I had this. Um, I've got a dressing gown on in here, which says mommy on it, which is just so cute. Um, we've got a nipple cream, literally everything you'd need. And basically, we've also got a flannel. Um, I think there's some slippers in there too and yeah I said a dressing gown you've also got an outfit for the baby which yeah it's just amazing and then in the bottom compartment as I said it's just kind of like nappies and wipes and stuff for Bubba but yeah this bag I literally cried when I got it you can get this for like £85 if you want absolutely everything in it um, but if you want to 
it actually came with baby slippers as well which i've shown in a previous video and they're so cute but yeah you can basically make your own bag as well which i think is really cool and it just makes it easier and even if it like the mum isn't going to use it for the hospital it's just a really sweet idea um and really quite a personal little touch that you can do for her because yeah i was just really happy with it and I think I'm right in saying none of us really want to be given like clothes to fit into after or loads of maternity clothes um, unless you've obviously got loads of time to go but yeah I don't know I feel like now I'm pregnant I couldn't imagine buying anybody maternity stuff while they're pregnant because it's just not really something I would want um, but yeah, that's another amazing idea, another amazing gift idea. So another thing that I've asked for, which I don't actually have because I've actually asked for it for Christmas, is an aromatherapy diffuser. Now, aromatherapy diffusers, you can get them off like Amazon, you can get them on Neom, um, which is an amazing company. Their stuff smells so good. But basically, it just is a diffuser that... Let, it releases like essential oils around the room it's instead of using candles basically um and yeah it just makes you feel like relaxed and in a spa so that's really i really want one of them um and i'm hoping my mom gets me one if not i'm just gonna buy one anyway you just have to be careful of some essential oils because some of them can start labor or bring on labor or something uh, i think it's called like clary sage or something if you want to go into labor you're meant to use that but yeah so i've asked one of them i will insert some pictures now of ones that i have been looking at um good ideas um another thing you could get a mommy to be is some slippers actually just get any wo woman in your life these now mine are a bit kind of battered and i've asked for some new ones for christmas but i did love these sainsbury's one ones but they didn't last very long so i really 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 want the white company ones because they're just like amazing obviously like uggs would be cool as well but they're a bit expensive for what they are so yeah i've asked for some white company ones and they literally do the best slippers i'm gonna insert some pictures um but yeah i would 100 percent recommend getting a pregnant woman's slippers because it's just the nicest thing when you get home take your shoes off you've had a long day just put your slippers on there is nothing better especially when your feet are sore oh it's just magical okay so another thing i'd recommend getting a mommy to be um is the mama mio skincare bundles so you can get like all these products in a bundle so you get the tummy rub oil which is literally so nice smells so good and you can get the lucky legs cooling gel um this is really good for when your legs are all like puffy and your feet are a bit swollen and you just feel a bit nasty um so yeah this is really nice and i will be using elliot for massaging purposes and then some nipple balm because yeah your nipples get so randomly sore throughout pregnancy and also when you're breastfeeding and stuff like that this will also be really good tummy rub butter now i can't get enough of this stuff i put it on every morning and every evening and it's just so nice honestly it's so good and i don't have it with me now but i have the tummy scrub rub rub scrub which is really good for in the bath as well um when you need to exfoliate and then the next one i also wanted to show you was this seraphine coat now i'm just going to show you it on as well but it's completely fleece lined on the inside it has an amazing little hood um which is not detachable, which I love because um, I hate it when hoods are detachable and you pull them too hard and they just fall off. Um, but yeah, it's a really long coat. And basically, when you put it on, it's so that it will fit you throughout pregnancy. And then when you have Bubba, like it fits me. I promise it does fit. I know it doesn't look like it does right now. Um, but when you have Bubba, you can put them in a sling inside. So yeah, it fits perfectly with me. You can kind of see my baby back. Um, but yeah, I've only got to fit in this for like another two months. And then I've got the insert, which basically is 
I'll, I'll insert a picture because it's easier than me trying to find it. But yeah, it's such a warm, cozy coat. You can get all different lengths and everything, but I would 100% recommend getting your lady in your life that's pregnant a pregnancy coat or yeah seraphine do lots of different types as well like they're a really nice brand um and it's not something that you'd necessarily want to buy yourself so it'd be like a nice gift to get someone i think and now another thing i would recommend is some christmas or just any any pajamas to be honest i got these from marks and spencers i got them in a size 14 they're a little bit tight but you can just let it all hang um but yeah there's nothing worse than just being really uncomfortable in bed you're so uncomfortable anyway being pregnant and yeah just having a good pair of pajamas which are nice and comfy is honestly the best thing i could have actually gone up for a size bigger um but one thing i would say is you buy like expensive pajamas and your lady in your life is planning to breastfeed get ones with like uh buttons or something so that they can feed the baby easier in the night um i just got kind of cheapy ones because i just thought they'll be nice and comfy and soft and everything and i don't care if i stretch the crap out of them um so that's why i got these and that leads me on to something else right so this isn't my normal dressing gown my other dressing gown is really nice um it's dark gray and it's lovely this one is also really nice but this is actually my mum's it's bigger and i've been using it because i can actually wrap my whole belly in it whereas my other one is like Ew. um so yeah a dressing gown is an essential item for for me and i'm sure a lot of other women would like a nice dressing gown john lewis and marks and spencers do the best dressing gowns unless you want to spend like an arm and a leg buying like a white company one um i would 100 percent recommend these they're not meant to look fashionable you know like i just want to be comfortable but yeah those are my gift ideas and i think they're quite reasonable they're quite nice and yeah that's all i want for christmas so i thought that might be all your inspo that you need um for the ladies in your life that are prego as well um but yeah let me know if you enjoyed this video sorry it's a bit random but i thought it would be a goodie for you um but yeah i will see you all soon please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and yeah see you later bye, -bye.